Yo, welcome on in. In today's video, we'll be covering the PS Remote Play. What led this on? I've been playing on the ASUS ROG Ally. While I've been playing on the ASUS ROG Ally, I've been gaming everywhere. From the car, the bed, the sofa, I've been doing it all. Final Fantasy Rebirth 7 has launched and it's led me right back to the couch gaming. In this video, I'm gonna show you in a few simple steps on how to install the PS Remote Play. Just in case you are wondering, what is the PS Remote Play? PS Remote Play lets you stream and play your PS5 games, even your PS4 games, and switch between games and view your console home screen. First step, make your way to your ASUS ROG Ally, Click onto your browser connection. Once you're in, type in PS Remote Play. You can download the app from the official PlayStation website. Once you are onto the website, make your way to the download section. Just scroll all the way to the bottom until you reach which devices are compatible. We will be using Windows, PC, and Mac. There we are. Download. Windows, PC. Let's download. Wait for the download, shouldn't take too long. Once downloaded, go to the downloads. Open up your downloader, you can move your download into a specific location you like. Once downloaded, click on Twitter. If you cannot find it, go to downloads and your EX file should be in your downloads waiting for you. If you cannot find your download, it should be in downloads. Right here. Once downloaded, step two will be to install the app. So I will be installing it into my C drive. It's only gonna take a few minutes, it's not a big file. Once installed, just before you launch, head back to your PS5. Once you're on a PS5, hit the settings cog. And once you're in settings, scroll down to system. And once you're in system, scroll down to remote play and enable remote play. Once that's done, we can head back to the ASUS ROG Ally. For the next step, we are gonna launch the PS Remote Play. You will have to sign into the app. Once you're logged in, confirm and continue the data provided. And then you choose your console of preference. So we'll click the PS5. Before connecting your PS5, to use Remote Play, enable it on the PS5 you are connecting to first. We done that earlier in the previous step. So once you've done all that, press OK, just in case you missed it. Searching for the connection via the internet. So now we're connecting our PlayStation 5. Once you are connected to the PlayStation 5, you can put it on full screen, but by tapping the screen and hitting the maximize screen. Once you're all connected, you are good to go. All you need to do is collect the game you wanna play, once you are logged in, you are fully on the go. You could play your PS5 on your ROG Ally. It feels very smooth, no lagging whatsoever. Let's jump into Tekken and see if we get any lags. It performs just like the PS5 so far. No lags, no lags. Let's go! It runs perfect, I have no complaints. I've got no complaints on there. I'm gonna jump off as a quick game to show you how it runs on the ROG Ally. Technically now, you don't have to be stuck couch gaming. This is not just for the ROG Ally. You can use your PS app on the iPads, your phone, even the PlayStation Portal. I hope this video has helped you today. If you need any support or you've got any questions, just drop it in the comments down below. Because you may have trouble with the firewall defender giving you the message saying, PlayStation timeout, just turn your firewalls off temporarily until you log in and then log back out. You should be all right. It should be working fine. If this has helped you today, remember to subscribe, all that great stuff. Peace, peace, peace.